Give us 10 minutes and we can save you thousands. After all, we depend on your success and offer a guarantee. It's time to fall back. I'm joined by Emmy Award winning actor and comedian David Cross. He's produced, written, or acted in over a hundred films and shows, including the beloved role of Tobias from the hit show Arrested Development. Michael, look at you. I mean, you're holding a sledgehammer. Your shirt is. Oh, I did that. Ah, uh, the clumsy adolescence. It's a phase we've all been through, except for me. I was like a cat. Tobias is sent to break into Maggie's house to steal evidence. He has a new comedy special out now called Oh Come On, and I'm also joined by our other David, Mr. David Korn from Mother Jones. He receives a George a George Polk Award for breaking that very influential memoir, the 47 percent story back. Laura, comma, please make sure Susan and Roger are on the list for the party. Speaker of the House. Every time that Trump did something wrong, lied, acted ignorant, he was nowhere to be found. Didn't say anything. But this week, we learn that for an interview in a book that's coming out, uh, I think pretty soon, he said that he believed Trump was a well, he said not a good person. He was ignorant about government and that Ryan himself left the job. They came the job. He's very scared working with Donald Trump. Now, this isn't one of these. So now you tell me. <laughs> In the world, I don't know what there is. I have to say, for this profile in cowardice, for speaking out when it barely matters, Paul Ryan should fall back. And you think this is clear that it's Ryan playing politics because he's, he wants this to be done? That's a good question. I think we're going to see a lot of the maneuvering the part of the Republicans may go on for the next couple of decades. Yeah. I was not mean on the Trump fan at the time. Right. This is the beginning for him. Yeah, David, this is the question of whether Donald Trump is sort of the tequila of conservative America and and you unleash it and you act a certain way, but then when it's all over the next day, are you like, that was the real me? Yeah. Or I don't know what that was. Um, well, they're all lying and duplicitous and uh, disingenuous, and they're, you know, uh, it's only to... Uh, support their uh, agenda and, and uh, yeah, just to keep working and then so, you know, people like to lobbyists and so on, and you find it for better. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's, a, it's a bad way to be a human being. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's, that's very clearly um, you know, that you are. You're not as obsessed with this politics stuff as we are. Um, well, I was going to say uh, neo-Nazis being welcome to the Rose Garden, but I, I think this is more important. I, I've been out, <laughs> I've been shooting, the reason I have this crazy beard is I've been in the woods and okay. Oregon shooting, so I didn't have any, uh, shooting a movie, not shooting. <laughs> not shooting, fair. <laughs> um, so I didn't have, uh, uh, I, I have, had no internet and, you know, wasn't uh, privy to a lot of the news items. But more important, I think, really, because uh, your producers gave me uh, some stuff to pick out. Um, this photo shows a black bear relaxing at a New Hampshire hotel. There he is, chilling. Yeah, but let me, let me, here, let me, uh, uh, we've all seen that enough. Okay, take that off, put it on me. Now, more importantly, as you read this article, then, don't forget the black bear. Get a close-up on this. Please, where do I go? Okay. There you go. It says, Jim photos that you have to see to believe. What? <laughs> who, how are we, who is getting away with this? That there are Jim photos that have to be seen to be believed. You wouldn't believe what's happening in the photo unless you saw it with your own eyes. This is outrageous, America. This is not the America that I want to live in. So that's good. I got to do something Friday. <laughs> the bear, the bear might be interested in that because it's clickbait. Hi, that sounds <laughs> vaguely sexual. I don't know what that is. <laughs> My no. joke was so bad, the comedian didn't even get it enough to make fun of it. Let alone, you know, that's how bad it was. I get it. Now, and the reporter had Why are you laughing now? Um, 